Hi there, it's analytical chick. Oh well. You don't need to be awake and they need to be so today I want to talk to you about the movie Unplanned. So I went to go see it the other day. Um, so first of all, go and see it. Absolutely go and see it. Um, basically it's Abby Johnson's story. So who Abby Johnson is, is she started at Planned Parenthood. Planned Unparenthood. Um... She started at Planned Parenthood as a volunteer. She would, um, I don't want to give too much away, but she started at Planned Parenthood as a volunteer, and then she worked her way up, and she eventually became the youngest clinic director in history, at which point she actually had an incident where she ended up leaving, and she, like, quit and became a pro-life activist. So this is her whole story basically regarding that. Um, one of the other things I really want to talk about is, you know, I was thinking like that because it's like a specialty film like this, I thought it would be a bit of a lower quality. Like when they were talking about it being in theaters, I thought it was going to be in like cheap theaters, like the kind of theaters that used to be like dollar shows when I was younger um but in fact it wasn't the theater that I went to had like recliners inside the theater I don't know how normal that is because literally I do not go to the movies I have I haven't been to the movies in like 10 years and the last time I went somebody else paid for me because I was like I don't want to go so if you want me to go with you that badly you're gonna have to pay for me because I'm not spending my own money on a movie. Movies are expensive. And generally, I wouldn't want to spend my money on the movies because of the incredible leftist bent. I don't want them to get my money. But I really wanted to support the cause, support conservatism even, um, and just show like that we exist, that we're here, especially being in a dark blue city like <laughs> New York City. I went to see it. And... Um, most of the people in the theater, like, I looked around, and even though it was in, like, a shit-lib white area, um, most of the people were non-whites. Like, I was sitting on my right was, like, a Hispanic couple, and then, um, a Hispanic guy came in and sat between us later on, and then on my other side, there was, like, a Hispanic guy, and then there was, like, a white couple... And when I got up to leave, like, I looked around, I saw, like, Asians and black. At that point, the white couple, like, had left when I think, or, like, they were the only ones I saw. Like, I saw tons of people with them. I mean, it was a very small theater. It was, like, four rows, maybe, like, 15, 20, no, more, like, maybe 20 seats across or something like that. Four rows, very spread out. Um... I don't know, I maybe it was a particular theater, like the auditorium within that theater. I, I think they have other auditoriums that are not as small. But anyway, so when I bought my ticket, it was like half sold out. The way they did it, I don't know if normal theaters do this, but they had me like pick my seat. Like they put it up on the screen and they were like, okay, here's the openings. Like, all the open seats. If it's gray, it's been sold already. If it's green, you can take it. So it was, like, maybe half sold when I bought my ticket. So I assume the other people bought them online. Because I bought my ticket, like, an hour beforehand. Um, because I just didn't know how to plan everything. And I didn't know... I've heard, I've heard people say online that they went to the... To see it, and it was sold out. So I went like an hour in advance. Um, but yeah, definitely go see it. Go and see it. Tell other people to go see it. Um, you know, I, I don't know what else to say other than go to see it. I feel like I'm repeating myself. I am repeating myself. All right. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. Did you go see the movie? If you saw the movie, 
you know, comment below. Um, don't spoil anything. The quality. Oh, yeah, that's one thing I really wanted to talk about. The quality really surprised me. The quality was really great. Like, when in the beginning there's an aerial scene because it starts off like she's at the house and then she leaves for work. And so they show her, like, driving to work on these country roads and stuff. And they use, like, I assume they use, like, drones or I guess they could have used helicopters. But they showed, like, all these aerial scenes of her driving to work. And so the opening was like, okay, this is very typical of, you know, most movies. A lot of movies do their opening scenes that way. Um, I'm actually thinking of The Prince and Me, where they show the two of them, the guy in America and the guy in the other country driving. But anyway. Um, but yeah, I think, I think an aerial shot of somebody driving is pretty, like, semi-standard for what movies do during the opening credits but that was that's how they do the opening credits but um it's very graphic it has an R rating but there's like two scenes that are kind of graphic because they have like fake blood and stuff because I mean they show like abortions I mean they don't actually do abortions on the movie but they like recreate them so there's I think I'm thinking of two scenes with blood. So there might be more, but I think there's mainly two scenes that show blood. So um, those scenes are a little rough. But I mean, probably I really think it should have been PG-13 instead of R. So um, people are saying like they took their teenagers to see it. Anyway, I feel like I'm babbling a lot. Go see the movie. Comment about it. Did you see it? Are you going to see it? Um, you know, what did you think of it if you saw it? Did you? It was very powerful. That is like the one word that I would use to describe it is powerful. So anyway, um, all right. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I will see you all next time. Oh well. People need to be awake and they need to be aware. They need to stand up against this stuff. People need to be awake. People need to be awake and they need to be aware. They need to stand up against this stuff. Oh, and it's so politically engaged.